Hello everybody, my name is Grace and I'm going to read chapter 4 and chapter 5. Fame and Fortune Now that Joe was managing Michael's career, Michael needed to hire someone smart to help him. The first per person he hired was a lawyer named John Branca. Over the next several years, Branca helped Michael get the best deals a record company had ever offered a singer up to that time. Michael's first solo album was CBS was a big success. Four songs from the album were in the top 10 on the music chart. In 1980, Michael won a Grammy Award, the highest award in the music business. But was he happy? No. Michael was a set upset because he only won one Grammy. Michael was angry because the award was for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance, stands for Rhythm, rhythm and Blues. Most R&B singers were African American. Michael felt Grammys was saying, that's a great album for a black singer. But it's not good enough for the rest of the pop music. Michael was determined to win the record of the year next time. With Quin Quincy as the producer, Michael went into the studio in 1982 and started recording new songs. He recorded four and had written himself. What song was to do it? Paul McCarthy sang with him. It's called The Girl Is Mine. The album called the Thriller also had another huge hit on it. Billie Jean and Beat It, both written by Michael, each went straight to number one on the charts. So did the song Thriller, was just written by someone else. Before long, Thriller became the best selling album of all time. It sold 10 million copies the first year it came out. 1983. Over the years, it sold over than 100 million copies. No album has sold more copies than Thriller in just four years. Michael owed more than nine, 190 million. What made Thriller such a huge success? Many things. First, Quincy and Michael worked so well together. They make musical magic happen. Second, Michael was at the peak of his powers as an entertainer. He had been in music business for 19 years. He was a pro. He knew he needed to take a step, just as Barry Gordy taught him. Recording his songs over and over until they were perfect. Sometimes, Michael stayed up all night memorizing lyrics. Then the next day, they turned the lights out in the studio and recorded in the dark. That put Michael in a private mood, so he could put all his emotions and feelings into the songs. Michael and Quincy spent many months recording the album. They remixed the music over and over again, just to get the sound just right. Another reason Thriller was a big, huge hit was because of its music videos. Michael thought of them as mini-movies. He put all his energy and talent into them. The first one was for Billie Jean. At first though, Michael couldn't get his videos on television. Why not? MTV, the music video channel, had only been around for one year. MTV thought their viewers only wanted to see white performers. The president of CBS recorded called of MTV. He gave them warning. He said that MTV wouldn't be allowed to play music videos by white famous stars at CBS like Bruce Springsteen and Billy Joe, unless they played by Michael Jackson. So MTV gave them that they played the Billy Jean video. That made all the difference. The trailer be became suddenly became number one album on the all music charts. Not just the black music charts, 
Michael made two more incredible videos from Thriller. The first one was the song Beat It. It was a video about street gangs. Michael used real gang members from Los Angeles to act in it. His best, biggest, and most expensive music video was for the song Thriller itself. Michael wanted to look and he was changing into a werewolf. He hired a director of horror movies. They have done scenes with zombies. When it was for the Gram Grammy Awards, Michael got 12 nominations for the Thriller album. He was so happy. He whooped and screamed and danced around the house. On the night of Grammy Awards, he won 8 times. Beat it won Record of the Year, Thriller won Album of the Year, and lots of more. Shortly after that, Michael was invited to the White House to meet President Ronald Reagan. Would this be enough to make Michael Jackson happy? Was he finally satisfied with his success? Chapter 3 Scared and Burned After Thriller, Michael Jackson was the most famous pop star in the world. Still, there was a deep sadness in him. It was probably that over from his unhappy childhood. He felt lonely. It seemed if, as if no one could understand him. <coughs> to the outside of the world, Michael looked like a huge star he was. He wore fabulous clothes and costumes on stage. Fans everywhere tried to copy him. One of his most famous costume was a military jacket. It's covered in gold braids, sparkly rhinestones, and jewels. His hair was long and wavy. He often wore sunglasses. On the inside, though he was still shy and didn't feel good about his looks, Michael had a skin disorder and wore a lot of makeup to conceal it. He also used a skin bleaching cream. He has already had two nose jobs. Nose jobs are surgeries to make someone's nose smaller. Then in January 1984, Michael had a terrible accident. He was shooting for an ad for Pepsi in a big auditorium in LA. Crowds of fans were in the audience watching. Michael was supposed to walk down on some steps of the stage. Sparks and fireworks were going beside him. All at once, his hair caught on fire. At first, Michael didn't recognize what had happened. He kept dancing and spinning. Then his hair <coughs> hand suddenly flew up to his head. Michael was rushed to the hospital. He had very bad burns. He had to have surgery. His scalp would never really be the same. Afterwards, the doctor gave him drugs for the pain. <coughs> Up till then, Michael Jackson had never used drugs, but he took the pain pills that his doctors gave him. Over time, he got addicted to those drugs and didn't want to stop. Two good things came out from the Pepsi accident, though. Mike Pepsi gave Michael $1.5 million to donate to the burn center and at the hospital where he had been treated. Pepsi also gave Michael a deal just over $5.2 million to make more Pepsi ads. John Branca helped Michael make the deal. Michael was already famous and loved by millions, but now he was about to become one of the richest men in the music world. So that's our chapter 4 and chapter 5, and I will see you next time. Bye!